Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, we're going to be going over what Quick Text is and how to set it up for your Salesforce org. So, essentially, Quick Text is a way for you to set up different, I guess, pieces of text that you want to send out a lot or that you will be sending out frequently. So, different links to different things, or maybe you have someone who is parsing out the different cases that might come in for your IT department. And so you want to have different pieces of quick text available to that IT person to send out to whatever department that it's going to go to and say, hey, here's some helpful links if you want to do that. Quick text is very great for that. Um, most of the time, I believe it is used for email and cases. You can use it probably during a sales process if you are emailing back and forth between you and your client. It could be for uh, just a bunch of different stuff, maybe an FAQ, that kind of thing. Now, you do have to have a couple of settings set up first, and then we'll go into actually making the quick text and then uh, putting it into your email however you want to have this. So let's go ahead and head to setup right now. And then over here in the quick find, we're gonna search for quick text. Uh, if you just type in quick, it's going to be there and the only one there. Okay, so you do wanna make sure that a few different settings are turned on so that you have enabled a quick text um, and that you are shared and organized quick text in folders. You probably want that checked, but I made the mistake of accidentally clicking the hide quick text button. And so I was like, why is it not here? Just make sure that that one is unchecked if you want to be able to use it. If you want to be able to hide it, then that's going to be how you would do that. So now that we have it in a setup, let's go ahead and go to the app launcher and then search for quick text and then go to quick text. Okay, so now you can set up different folders for your quick text and then have actual quick text set up. So let's go ahead and create a couple different folders for this, just so that we can get familiar with it. Feel free to skip forward in the video if you wanna skip past this part. I'm going to have one for sales. All right, so I made a folder for sales. And then let's go ahead and make a new folder. Actually, let's go to all, okay, all folders here. Let's go ahead and make a new folder that's going to be outside of sales and we're gonna have this be service. So then if we wanted to have the different folders, one for sales and one for service, and then you can have everything organized so then you're not filing through a bunch of different quick texts. So now I'm gonna go into service and let's go ahead and create a new quick text here. So now we can choose what we want and we can also use merge fields. So merge fields essentially are just going to be taking whatever file you're on or whatever record you are on. So let's say we're on Jane Doe's record and we wanted to have the name of the person that we were emailing with. Then you could use a merge field to grab the name off of the contact or the lead or the case, however you wanna grab it. That's what a merge field will do. So you would just enter in the merge field. I'll show you how it works, super great. So let's have a scenario. So let's say we are working with our customer service team. We have an automation that will automatically send out an auto response and will say, hey, thanks so much. We will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, after that, we have the process where we're gonna go ahead and look at all the different emails that come through and then we're gonna route it to the best possible person. And then we're gonna have a quick text email go out and say, hey, thank you, we are routing you to this person. And then maybe have some type of links that will say, if you have any issues, um, or it looks like your issue is with this category of product, then go ahead and check out these links. So I am going to name this routing quick text. Now let's say it is routing email issue quick text in our email. The issue is going to be for emails. So let's go ahead and say, let's say the contact first name, or we could use full name, but I'm going to do the contact first name, hi contact first name, comma, thanks for reaching out about your email issue. We have routed your issue to the best possible rep and they will respond 
shortly. Best, I'm going to say the IT team. All right, so this is an example of one thing that you might want to use for quick text when you're routing something, or um, I've seen it for if you have like a lost package or you're returning a package. That could be another great use for it. So then you can choose the category. So this one's going to be in a greeting. And then right now selected channel, I'm going to put this in email, but I'm also going to put it in all of the channels in case we have um, someone reaching out with the same issue across multiple channels. So now we can preview this here. So if you want to, um, let's add someone in as the um, person. And I didn't add any accounts. I only added in contact. So I'm going to click preview here. So this is what it's going to look like with that merge field. I'm going to exit out of this. I thought it looked great. I'm going to click save. Now we can go over to uh, a contact and then we can go ahead and send out this email. So this quick text is ready to go. You can use it. You can clone it. You can edit it if you want to. Let's go ahead and do it and test this out. All right, I'm going to go into a contact here. All right, let's go ahead and email them. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so then we can see it. So currently, this is how we are going to email Rose Gonzalez. And um, I'm going to have this be for subject of email issue. Or we'd have this be re-email issue because it's a response to them. But now we can see our different quick texts. So we just have my test one I created. But we could also use this routing email issue quick text. I clicked on it. And there we go. It updated into here and it had the correct merge fields. So now one thing I am seeing here is that Grammarly is telling me that I should not have a space there. So I can go back and edit that quick text. So then the person sending this won't have to do that themselves. We can just get rid of that space. But then what you'd be able to do is go ahead and hit send and then it will send to them. And it's not going to send it because it is a test org and so it doesn't really have a right email. But that is how you go ahead and set up your quick text within Salesforce. Um, again, please take advantage of the different categories that you have, the different folders, so then it doesn't get muddled. And I would test it out and make sure that any errors or any links or merge fields that you're going to be using um, all work and look great. If you're doing this in your production org, be sure to test it out. But thank you so much for joining me. Uh, you can check out the links down in the description down below. Um, and the different courses that we have on Salesforce certifications. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.